welcome back out to the cabin tonight. As I said in my previous video, tonight we're going to come out here and uh, put this bear trap up on the wall. We figured out a bracket system and hang this on the wall. It's not really a bracket system, it's just kind of a little bit of a cheat, but we'll show you that. We'll get this hung up on the wall. It'll probably be a pretty quick video tonight, but we appreciate you watching anyway, so let's get to it. So the way we're going to take and put this bear trap on the wall is I want it hanging in a vertical position and I want the chain hanging down freely. So what we came up with is we're going to use this square U-bolt and we're going to drill some holes into the wall back at an angle. So that way when that trap spring sits in there, it will be held in a position approximately like that. We're going to drill about half inch holes that are just slightly larger than the threads on this bolt. Between the weight of this trap wanting to spread that bolt out and the threads wanting to grip that wood as it pulls it down, I think it should lock it in there nice and tight. So we got our 20 volt DeWalt drill. We got a half inch bit put in it. We're going to come up here on this second log from the bottom of the wall. This is where the gable end starts. This is the top log of the wall. We're going to come down one log. We're going to drill a hole in at about a 30 degree angle. And then we'll measure for our second hole. We want to get this trap as close to center on this wall as we can. I'm not going to measure. It doesn't, it's not that critical. I just want to start that bolt in the hole, get it lined up right, make a pencil mark on either side of it so we know exactly where we need to be here, and then we'll drill our second hole. So one thing you guys want to keep in mind here is we want to make sure that we're drilling our hole at the same angle as our previous hole, otherwise there's going to be an interference on this when we go to slide it in. So. The other thing you want to keep in mind is make sure you feel stable on the ladder. If you don't feel stable on the ladder, don't do it. Believe me, you don't want to fall off the ladder. Some of you guys probably know that. I've been there, so. Again, if you look at my otter video where I was putting the otter up on the above the television, you'll see you start with the bit perpendicular and raise it to that the angle that you want it. should fit nicely. All right, now we got the trap. We got our holes drilled up there. I got a U-bolt in my back pocket. We're going to climb up there and try to get it up there. I'm going to have to hold the trap with one hand and put the U-bolt in with the other. So if this goes bad, we might have a blooper video. said if you're not stable on the ladder don't do it because I've done it well there we go Take a step back and see how that looks. Hopefully I didn't drill holes in the cabin wall for nothing. So one of the next videos we'll be doing for you guys is we're going to be putting trim around the balcony door here. Trim around the window. And we'll be finishing off the closet over here, building some doors and closing in the sides. Hopefully we'll get that done in the next few days and get another video out to you guys. Appreciate you watching.
think this will look pretty good here. It's a good spot for it. It's kind of big and cumbersome and it's out of the way, so I think it'll probably make a good gradient heat mass too. It's a pretty big chunk of metal. Once it gets warm, it'll probably throw some heat out for a while. So I just want to take the opportunity to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you again the next time.